Disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. Hey amazing hackers, Hack Shudder here from HM Cyber Academy, hope you're doing good. So in this incredible web hacking series, we are left with one topic in the server side topics. So basically this is not a vulnerability, this is a new topic that we have, that is API testing. Basically in API testing, uh, every vulnerability that we get, almost we have those similar vulnerabilities within the web application, okay. So there is nothing new, but uh, the way we find out uh, those vulnerabilities is a little bit new thing for you. Okay, let me go into this. And before jumping into the actual vulnerabilities, people who don't know what an API is, uh, I'm going to explain here. So API is an application programming interface. In a simple terms, I don't want to go into deep. Uh, I'll explain you what exactly an API is. Okay. So just imagine you are in a hotel, okay? So imagine you are in a hotel and uh, you have a menu right with you, okay? Consider this is your table and you have a menu right with you and this is the kitchen. So now uh, in the menu, uh, you will order some things, okay? So now what happens? The kitchen is like the software, okay? So this is the software, actual software which processes everything. Uh, and this is for this, uh, as per kitchen, this processes the food, okay? So now what is happening? The waiter uh, who is available, so he will take the order from you and he will uh, deliver the same, communicate the same to the software or the food processing place which is kitchen and now uh, after the food is processed, he will get the same back to the, uh, uh, back to you, okay? So this is a waiter, okay? And we call it same as an API, okay? So API also does the same thing. Uh, you know, uh, you don't need to know how the kitchen works, okay? You just use the menu and waiter handles the communication, making sure your request gets to the kitchen and food come back to you. In a simple terms, APIs help different species of softwares talking to each other like helpful waiter bringing you the meal you ordered. Okay, so this how simple the API is. So let us go back. So now you understood what an API is in terms of a hotel. Okay, but uh, now you will get, just relate everything to the to a web application and you will understand what it is. So you will understand those things uh, within the lab itself. Okay, so this is a simple example of an API, you know, the doc, API documents we have here. And uh, I would suggest you read each and every line right here. Okay, that will help you get a deep understanding what exactly an API is. Okay, so here we have the lab and let us get into this. Exploiting an API endpoint using documentation. Okay, to solve the lab, find the exposed API document and delete carless user. You can log into your own account using the following credentials. As always, we have this wiener. Okay, so let me open the lab in a new tab. Yeah, let's put, put the proxy to burp, just like this. And now the thing is that uh, let us try to log in. Okay, so let us try to log in. Where is my account? And P E T E R, Wiener and Peter is a, are the username and password. So we never want to save this. All right. So now we have a functionality called email. Okay, there is nothing else. And let us go to the uh, burp. Okay, and HTTP history and check if there is anything else that we have here. Okay, these are all regular ones. There is nothing new that we got right here. All right. So now what are we going to do? We are going to submit something. We are going to update this ABCD at the rate ABCD something like this dot com. Okay. And hit on submit. I mean update email. All right. So the email got updated. Let us go back to the HTTP history and see. So, okay. So there is a particular uh, request called API starting from API. Okay and if you can see it is a patch okay so now uh, we have the user okay uh, obviously patch has this particular one 
all right this is all good so let us do one thing let us take this to the repeater and this is that particular api request and what we can do is uh, we can also let me delete this uh, just we are we are doing some kind of uh, uh, you know uh, activity and let us change this to get request and hit on send and now if you can see you are getting the details of winner okay so let us change this particular uh, sorry this particular one to carless okay so rather than winner let us ask for carless and hit on send and now you if you can see we are getting the details of carless as well so this is an api and let us do one thing let us remove this just like this and hit on send all right okay malform url all right this is a bad request so let us remove this one also and again hit on send oh it looks like something is there here just render it okay so now if you can see we have a get delete as well as post so this is the api documentary that we have right here okay let us do one thing go back to this place and uh yeah raw no this is good and right click show response and browser yeah, i don't want this dialog mm, yeah paste it right here and now if you can see we have the a uh, rest api documents right here documentation it's a documentation okay and i think we can this is clickable yeah this is clickable okay and now if you can see this is a method get method delete method and patch method and uh, you already saw that uh, there is a patch method right here sorry here okay so this is updating the email address and we already use the get get method uh, here right in the repeater to get the details and there is only one method left that is delete method and you can see the exact way how we need to delete it okay we need to provide user uh, sorry we need to provide slash user and here we can provide that particular username within the string uh, let's uh, delete it okay so let me go back to this place and uh, what it says user okay so here the thing is that this is a documentation so we can just give it right here and it will do it for us but uh, yeah uh, this is not a real time scenario okay so let me be very very clear this is not a real time scenario that we can do right here okay so uh, let us do it within the burp only so user uh, carlos okay and let me put it as L E T E delete okay and hit on send okay it says user deleted and now this lab should be solved i guess yeah congratulations the lab is solved so this is how you need to do but uh, see here itself there is a possibility that you know uh, we can delete it but basically you won't get this kind of documentation or this kind of easy access uh, for in each and every application okay so it's better you make a habit to do it within the burp itself uh, uh, so that you will you will get multiple ideas to do whatever you want okay for an example uh, you got some particular username and you want to get the details uh, just change the request and do it okay and let us do one more thing let us put something called options oh sorry options and hit on send and now if you can see method not allowed and it is providing the details of those methods okay so here we have allow and in which we have this patch delete and get and we have the same right here get delete and patch okay so this is how you can you know play with those apis okay so anyway congratulations and have a great day bye bye